come on, he's on me. Stunning! <laughs> Welcome back on this joyous occasion. Only a few more periods till our three-day vacation. To begin things off this Friday, Big J has something to say. There's a preseason practice this Monday for big girls tennis. Show up to Denver Tennis Park at 3.30 and play like a menace. Sounds like fun. But we aren't done. Go to the baseball workouts at Legends in Aurora if you want to score a home run. These, the practices start this Saturday, so bring your 75. Give the money to Carla Allen or Coach Bond if you want to thrive. On these sporty notes, let's send it over to the goats. Hey Tej, it's your queen and St. Pedro bringing you the sporty sports. Boys and girls basketball both have a games at JFK. <laughs> boys, boys play at 5.30 and girls play at 7. If you can't make it out, wish them luck in the halls. Girls swimming has a meet today and tomorrow versus Chatfield. Wish them good luck in the halls. Boys JV Wrestling have a meet tomorrow at Far Northeast. Good luck, guys. Our Nuggets had a game last night and beat the Golden State Warriors, <laughs> Warriors in overtime. They had a score of 134 to 131 because all we do is take dubs, period. St. Pedro. Yes, dear queen. Why can't basketball players go on vacation? I don't know why. <laughs> because they can't travel. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I know. Okay, that's all the sports we have for you this week, Teach. Until next time. We out, we Teach. Thanks, sports. Those are some interesting reports. Now it's time to turn your views over to the news. Hey, guys, welcome back. It's Ryan and Cora with the news. Today, Channel 7 News was in to tell us about the importance of getting real news. You have to be able to decipher what's real and what isn't. With all the social media around us, it's hard to decipher sometimes. Speaking of social media, if you've been keeping up on any of the platforms, you know that Mac Miller dropped his album last night. Sounds fire. The album is called Circles um, and was very good. Also, last night Eminem dropped a surprise album. Also fire. The album featured uh, Juice World, who recently passed away too. Uh, that's it for us. That's all we have, TJ. <laughs> See ya. See ya. <laughs> wow, thanks, news. Now time for the people who always give us the blues. That's right. It's time for the admin. Let's hear what they have to add in. Good morning, Spartans. Another quick reminder that if freshmen, sophomores, and juniors want to hear about financial aid from a highly selective college, we will have a student on Tuesday during sixth period from Harvard who graduated from Aurora Public Schools to come and talk to students about the financial aid process. If you're interested, please come see me and sign up so that we can get you a pass to remind you on Tuesday. Tuesday. Thanks. Have a good Friday. Good morning, Spartans. So, a little talk on Friday. Guess what? It's a three-day weekend. Take some time. Do something fun. But also, unplug from your technology. Let's read for an hour. Read. I'm going to do it. Do it, Spartans. See you at the doubleheader tonight at JFK, maybe, too. Good morning, TJ and Ms. Chris. I'm here, your favorite principal. Hey, if you guys didn't know, um, School of Choice window has opened up for Denver Public Schools. So, that means that if you guys have any eighth grade siblings they have to choice in to school um, I'm hoping that it's here at TJ but um, any eighth grader has to go through choice so if you guys have siblings at home brothers sisters cousins nephews nieces um, whatever it is friends uh, make sure to remind them that hey you have to choice into school this year um, for next year does that make sense um, so anyway so they can go through the Denver Public Schools choice office just go to the DPS website and look for the choice options um, but they do have to participate so help us out, TJ. Uh, we'd like to see a lot of kids here next year. It helps us uh, offer you guys more programs, uh, add some teachers, add some different classes for next year, and so uh, so it all helps out. So remember, choice window opens. It closes in the middle of February. If you're an eighth, if you have eighth grade friends, tell them to go on and choice the TJ. Mr. Christoph out. Have a great weekend. Thanks. That was nice to hear. Did you know that there are auditions for Shakespeare? Yes, I heard. You must stop by room 217 to sign up. Jackson is here to say what's up. Hi there. I'm so sorry for your probable disappointment. Um, Mr. Jackson wasn't able to make it today, yet we still built the time in for the show, so then I'm trying to fill in. I don't have any um, quiz questions to make people look silly. There's no class challenge. 
I'm, I'm deeply sorry. What I can do is kind of retell one story that I think affected us this week, us meaning uh, uh, some stuff I was involved in, and uh, I think it's a good lesson to think about. We are having a, a really good run so far. We have not lost as far as boys basketball this year. By this year we're talking 2020. So we're on a pretty good run. Um, things are enjoyable, but we won a game the last couple days and I wasn't sure if everyone on the team was as happy as I thought they should have been. So I, I brought up some stuff and talked about how quick your high season will be over, your high school career will be over, and some of this relates to life and it relates to what you guys have going on in school. We are here you got to find the times to enjoy what you can. High school is tough enough. So find the moments that you enjoy. It's going to go by before you know it. Be happy when good things happen. Be happy for other people when good things happen. Put a smile on your face and get through the day the best that you can, but find those moments to celebrate. That's what we tried to present to the boys' basketball team. I think they took that to heart. We're using that. We play tonight, 5.30, girls at 7, come out and support you don't find time to enjoy the small things, then you're kind of lame, man. That's all from us. Owen and Jay, as main anchors, is sadly over, so don't make a fuss. Hey there, TJ. Just a reminder, today is the first Jewish Student Connection meeting of the new semester. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Come to Mr. Wilson's room at lunch. Free food. Just going to be very chill. See you all there. Hey there, TJ. It's Shalom from Robotics again. Uh, we have a fundraiser going on on SnapRaise. If you want to donate, uh, go to any Robotics student, go to Mr. Santambrogio, anyone. All help is appreciated. Thanks, TJ. Hi, I'm Ms. Morrissey, and I teach the bands and orchestras at Thomas Jefferson High School. I'm in room 148. We have both beginning and advanced groups here at Thomas Jefferson, which is pretty exciting because some students miss out at the middle school and decide later on that they really would like to try it. Or some students leave the band and orchestra for a year or two and they need a refresher and we have a course that helps you do that. If you think you're ready for the advanced groups, it is an audition group. And they're really fun groups to be part of because they get to perform a lot. They perform out in the community, they perform, the band performs at some of the home sporting events, they perform formal evening concerts as well. Students who are part of the bands and orchestras can audition for honor bands and honor orchestras, such as the district citywide band and orchestra or the all state bands and orchestras. Unless you are part of your school band and orchestra, you don't have that option to audition for those groups. So it's a great way to get access to those opportunities. Most of the reason I love teaching band and orchestra is I'm hoping to help my students become lifelong musicians. I know that many of my students who have graduated here come back and they tell me that they're still making music. They still like to get together with friends and make music. Some of them have even joined community bands and orchestras. I hope you'll give a thought to joining our bands and orchestras here at TJ. Green screen shenanigans again part part two Let, let's get it oh, oh my god ah, he's coming after us bro uh. Yeah.